Hi everyone, welcome to part 4, where today we'll be making the hands, and I've decided to kind of separate the hands and the foot, just because the hands took me really long for some reason. Um, here we go. So this is where we left off last time, and I just took some photos of a hand off of the internet and used them as a background reference image. There's quite a lot of methods to make hands. I think from a previous project, I extruded the arm. So this is for the skater girl in my first video. I extruded the arm and then just kind of went from there. But I just realized that I much prefer to just make an object and work on it by itself and then merge merge them together at the very end. It gives me more freedom. So now I'm extruding out the thumb part. adding the subdivision modifier and I'll work. So for the fingers, I, would, I just created individual um, six vertex cylinders and then extrude them individually and then join them together now for the kind of bit between the, ha the fingers. And then I'll join the fingers with the rest of the palm of the hand. And obviously there's a lot more vertex vertices around the fingers now, so I need to start decimating them. And to do that, a very common technique is to merge three vertices together and delete one edge. And that will make sure you don't have triangles and you've decreased the number of vertices. So now I'm just moving the things around, hopefully to match things up and then I can merge them together. So later on you'll see that when I turn on the subdivision modifier, the fingers look really weird. And it took me a while to realize this, but it's because, you know, it, it looks like a square well, and you want it to look more smooth and joint together. And to do that, you need to sort of merge the vertices from the fingers so that they come together at the, there's a vert there's only one vertex at the, you know, the middle of the, between two fingers, not two. And make sure you get rid of all triangles, and I still haven't done it yet, but hopefully it will soon. Delete some edges and make sure you don't have, you know, triangles. And whenever you see, for example, a, a triangle and you count the number of vertices around it, if you have an odd number of vertices, I mean, to, to create a mesh only with quadrilaterals, you need an even number of vertices to create that mesh. So if you have an odd number of vertices, just delete one of them and then, for example, here, create a hole and then join the rest of the even number of vertices together to make quadrilaterals. So I'm just working between all the fingers. As you can see, now all the vertices meet converge at a point in between two fingers, so it looks more smooth. And obviously you don't want holes where you, holes as in like, you know, vertices come together and then, but vertices um, come to the end, to the middle of an edge, but then at that edge, that vertex doesn't have another edge to something else. So for, to solve that, you just need to add more edge loops and then connect the two. Okay, it's looking a little better. Now I'm working around the thumb and I've, I just kept thinking, why is it such a weird curvature there, as you can see in the thumb? And it turns out, again, I had triangles, and um, here's a picture of what it was and how I solved it. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. So whenever I get the general shape right, I start sculpting by kind of, again, you see, pulling some points out. It looks, it's, it's quite, yeah, sculpting really helps. <laughs> But I'm not a really good sculptor just from a like a ball. You know, there's some there's a lot of videos where people just sculpt from like a sphere and it just looks amazing. I need like a base. <laughs> you try to make the um, the tendon on the top of the fingers, and then for the palm, you just have to extrude um, this part. I don't know what they're called actually. Yeah, for the fingernails, you just um, extrude a plane, bring it down, extrude it, bring it up, and then expand it, and then you can get this extra curvature out. 
So now it's the palm. Um, right now I've kind of deviated from the picture that I just added from the top view because ultimately you want it to look more like this front view hand, size-wise. fixing between all your fingers and add a few edge loops there and then just pull it up a little bit to make it look more you know like the fingers a bit bent all right now i add in the middle uh, mirror modifier and start joining the hand to the arm now there was a big issue because my arms had 11 vertices which is annoying because i hate odd numbers and the hand had an even number of vertices but when you decimate three, you're only minusing two vertices every time. So you never really get there. So I, I was being silly and I just thought, oh, I'll just delete a vertex somewhere in the hand and make it even. But then you kind of create a hole where, you know, a vertex meets the, an edge and then doesn't go anywhere. So I had to just, you know, bite the bullet and add another um, edge loop in the body to make an, an even number of vertices from the hand, uh, from the arm. And then I could make sure that everything's even and then decimate a few points in the hand and then merge the two objects together. This is why you saw me delete that stuff and then now retrying it. Because after I've added in the edge, now everything fits a lot better. So I just really didn't want to add more edge loops to the body because later on when we animate things, I really want there to be as little vertices as possible because my computer isn't really that powerful. So here's the final result and thank you for coming. I will see you in the next video where we'll be finishing up the foot.